guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 23, aka Christmas Eve Eve. So before we get started, I want to show you footage from last night. We finally went to the Christmas house around here. I'd already started exporting the vlog from yesterday, so I'll insert that Bad footage here. <laughs> Hello, future vlog of tomorrow that this is going on. Isn't We're that cheating? Well, I already fully exported today's video, so we're gonna do a little throwback. We're finally traveling to the infamous lights that we pass by all the time. So as your first time here, what did you think That's as you stand in front of the porta potty? This is uh, this is pretty intense. It was a really nice time. We had a good time. We walked around. I mean, maybe we were there. I don't even think we were there 10 minutes. It was just nice to walk around and get to see all the lights. And now what I'm going to do is test out all the makeup that came in my Ipsy and then we can talk about it after. Okay, so let's go through everything. So I used, I primed with the original primer water from Smashbox, still making a decision on that. I used the Joa foundation with the Maybelline Age Rewind again. I'm liking that combination. I set with the Laura Mercier setting powder and the Absolute New York banana powder. I used the Catrice Prime and Fine fixing spray. CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil, Precisely My Brow, and Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I bronzed with the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. The, this one, I don't know what it's called. For blush, I used the Milani Blush in Luminoso. I used the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. The Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Zero. The L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Base. And the Estee Lauder Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. Now for the tea on all the Ipsy stuff. Okay, the first thing I used was the Smith & Colt Eyeshadow Quad. Um, not my favorite. Eh, I mean, I feel like I was able to get a pretty decent basic eyeshadow look. The one matte I felt was really hard to blend out. I had a lot of trouble working with that. I don't know, I just, I feel like for four shades, it took me a lot of blending and a lot of time to just come up with something as basic as this. So it, it's okay, and I can understand the practicality. Like, this would be really nice if you were traveling and just wanted a tiny little eyeshadow quad, but for $44, I would have wanted more quality out of the eyeshadows. Yeah, I don't know. The Farrah bl brushes actually might be my favorite thing that came in this month's box. So I used these two when I bronzed, and whatever this 
floppinesses. It was a really good bronzing blush, brush. And I used the Duo Fiber for my blush. And I really thought these were really good. I like the way they performed a lot. Probably, like I said, my favorite. I also used the brushes that I got with my points. And I did like them all. I think my favorite was probably the SL Miss Glam L50. This Lancome face product, I think they said it was basically for any part of your face. I actually wound up highlighting with it and I really liked it as a highlighter. I wasn't sure because it looks dark in the pan, but I feel like it, it shows up very differently on the face. It's also a very, very soft consistency, almost a cream feeling product. And lastly, is the confusing one. This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Love Lipstick. I mean, it definitely didn't turn out the color I was expecting. It feels more like a balm than a lipstick. Uh, I don't really understand the shape of it. I felt like it actually being like this made it harder to apply. I'm gonna have to try it out. But overall, the Farrah brushes, I'm, I can say were my favorite thing that came in the, in the box this month. And let's get on to some advent calendars. First, I have the Ulta Beauty Calendar. Day 11 is right here. Okay, this is a glitter lip topper. That's interesting. And then we have the ASOS Calendar. Day 11 is right here. This is from Frank Body, and it says, guess what? You'll be naked in a minute. Original coffee scrub exfoliator for smooth, glowing skin. I don't know why that's funny, but it is. And I mean, I love body scrubs. My skin is so dry that I make sure to use a scrub every time I shower, especially this time of year. Next, we have the Sephora collection calendar. Day 23 is up here. I feel like this is something I already got. This is the Express Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. We definitely got a two set of these already in this calendar. I mean, I'm not mad. I actually already used the, the set that came in this calendar, but I'm fairly certain this is the exact same set. That's kind of weird. This calendar, it's great. Now we have the QVC calendar. Day 23 is right here. I need to get the spoon. The spoon always works. This is from L'Occitan, and this is the Amande Cleansing and Softening Shower Oil never heard of a shower oil. I've never used Luxton before. I've heard mixed reviews on the brand, I guess I could say, but I'll definitely be trying this out and let you know. The shower oil transforms when in contact with water into a delicate foam that gently cleanses the body. Enriched with Provence almond oil, it respects the hydrolipidic film and leaves a subtle and mouth-watering scent of fresh almonds for a delightful skin. Sounds good to me. And finally, Glossy Box. Actually, Glossy Box is the only calendar that we will have something to open on actual Christmas. I am thinking of vlogging Christmas, so I'll do like a full 25 days of Vlogmas. We'll see how that goes. Day 23 is right here. Okay, and day 23 is actually something I already own. This is the Luna by Luna Translucent Powder. I received this in an Ipsy Glam Bag this year. So for that reason, this will be going in a giveaway. And those are today's advent calendars. We'll be finishing off four calendars tomorrow and then glossy box on Christmas. Hey, so a couple things that I just did. First, I just finished editing my best of 2018 video. So that will be going up after the worst video, which all will be going up after Christmas. And then I just painted my nails a little bit of silver. So I kind of used two new polishes. The first was this julep polish in the shade Stephanie. And then I wanted to add a little sparkle and I was really surprised. I think this came in the glossy box calendar. This is from Morgan Taylor and this is the shade Ice or No Dice. And I thought it was gonna be like a sheer, just glittery shade, but it actually wound up being a, an extremely opaque glitter. So we got a lot of shine going on right there. And those are all the updates for right now. So today really flew by fast. I definitely took some naps, that is for sure. We did see Santa Claus, insert clip of Santa Claus.
Oh my god. Nobody is out to see Santa except us, I guess. We went out to dinner at Carabas, and now I'm going to put on a face mask, some sweatpants, and we're gonna watch The Office. Hey, right, see you tomorrow.